Hello everybody, my name is Getty 2 and welcome to something kind of new. Uh, a couple weeks ago, Ryan, uh, this guy here, he wanted to do something new for our weekly game nights. Uh, we do a lot of like Among Us, uh, Fall Guys, 100% Orange Juice, Jackbots, Cards Against Humanity, the latter two you will likely never see on this channel. It's a lot, it, they're a lot of fun to do. And I try to always make sure that whatever we do is something that is relatively approachable for me and my friends, something that anyone can just kind of pick up and get into straight away without having to invest in any expensive games or expensive hardware to do. That's also why we will never do Among Us VR, because that requires hundreds of dollars worth of hardware just to even approach between all of us. Anyway, uh, he wanted to do Pokemon Showdown. Now, Pokemon Shutdown is a free online app that lets you battle people online with Pokemon. Uh, it, there's no story mode, there's nothing like that. It is strictly just battling online with different people. The neat thing about it is that you can play it on your browser, you can play it on your phone, and you can even download Pokemon Showdown onto your computer, and it's all free. You can do all the things that are in Pokemon Showdown for free. Now, I needed to figure out how to kind of approach this because while I had a decent understanding of Pokemon and I know Ryan has a good understanding of Pokemon, there are people in my friends group that aren't as well versed. And I need to come up with a system that made it fun for all of us, but also made it approachable. That was the big thing. So I found a randomizer online that just creates randomized uh, competitive Pokemon teams. It gives the Pokemon, it gives the abilities, items, movesets, EV and IV distribution, everything that you would need. Then you just copy and paste the information from that website into Pokemon Showdown and it'll create the teams for you. It's really convenient. And using this randomizer, uh, we were able to create uh, randomized teams for everyone to use. Now, the way that we approach this is we did a kind of king of the hill style. So one person would be considered the king of the hill at the start, and he would have his randomized team. And then everyone else would take turns using their randomized team to try to beat the king. And if everyone failed to beat the king, then we would all reshuffle. If the king got defeated, then he would have to reshuffle his team and everyone would just kind of continue from there. This system kind of allowed us to have a lot of more control over how often people got to come in. We got to control the pacing of like when their teams were being developed because while they were watching uh, the games, they would be able to see what's going on and create uh, random teams for them to use later at the same time. It was a really cool thing and it made getting into the, the Pokemon a lot easier for everyone else. And of course, uh, me being me, I decided to record our sessions and it, it was super fun and it was super fun to uh, make this little video. So. Uh, please give it a watch. Uh, let me know uh, what you liked about it. What do you think could be better? Uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, also, just so you know, and this has nothing to do with it, but there is a current uh, Pokemon uh, Let's Play of Pokemon Fire Red going on. So if you like Pokemon and you want to see more of me talking about Pokemon and playing Pokemon with an actual, like, you know, somewhat of a story, then uh, check out my Pokemon Fire Red Let's Play. It's currently ongoing and I think it's pretty good. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, I'm gonna start with Stealth Rock. Ha! Denied. No Toxic for you. Nope. Oh, alright, he's gonna switch out Dust Clots. Dust Clots pressure ability, and he's Fire Blast. Hit that mist! Oh, it hurts. Oh, Nightshade still works. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, because it's an attack, not a status. Alright, well. I wasn't sure, because of course it is relatively mixed damage. Okay. As all down. It has no effect other than doing damage. Yeah, that, that is fair. Just cause it annoying. Uh, we'll do this. Okay, so it's just you have a collection of Pokemon and you battle your opponent. Yep, that's, that's all. That's all it is. It's just one-on-one -on -one fights. Okay. okay. Uh, does it tell you what the moves do? When yes. You're looking at it? Yes, okay. it does tell you what the moves do if you're looking at it. That's helpful. Boom, baby. I don't think I've still yet to buy the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC. Ugh. Psy Shock. Mm. Also, what character are you? I'm Alders. Is it his son? I, I forget. 
Okay, because I was like, I did get the, I did kind of get that he looked like Alder, but isn't Alder. It's an optional boss that you can find in Pokemon Black 2 and White 2 when you visit either the Black Tower or the White Tree Hollow. But you have to get pretty high up there. But if you do beat him, you will either get a Shiny Gibble or a Shiny Dratini, depending on the version that you are in. Also, poor you. Never played B2W2. Well, that's a shame, because they're really good games. Okay, well... Original one. Burned! Oh, right. That's what I want. Oh, someone's setting up. Why is the bird holding a leak? <laughs> because that's what Farfetch do. Or a green onion or whatever that is. Maybe it is a leak, as a matter of fact. Let's do this. What are you doing, Ryan? It's best. Pass only has status moves. This thing is <laughs> <laughs> Why does it only have status moves? I know Pass isn't gray as a Pokemon, but even so. Is that a giant nose with a mustache under it? Yes, that is exactly yes. what it is. It, it's a giant stone that, with have, a mustache. I have four Pokemon who are terrible speed, and yet, they, they, none of them have Trick Room, despite the fact that these are Trick Room Pokemon. Literally designed for Trick Room. Oh my god, it's gonna take forever, but hey, I I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Alright, I think this ought to do it, how to put you out of your relative misery. Yo, Sigilip is busted, my guy. Let's do this. Alright, Seed Bomb. Very cute. Very, 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 very amount of damage. Oh! And Ryan has conceded. Yeah, I stood no chance. You have plus four defense. Yeah. <laughs> like, my <laughs> Here's the thing, uh, I significantly overestimated how uh, <laughs> the, the, the moveset was. Uh, I thought Pass had anything useful on it. <laughs> I thought. I like how my little character is like holding a tray of buns or something, and I literally baked some rolls earlier today. <laughs> Oh, so we each pick a move that we're yeah, we, do, and then it does the move together? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I didn't actually do, um, like, a flat-out attacking move. Oh, my God! <laughs> Yo, Scrafty ain't playing. Scraf Scrafty is not playing around today. No, we not. <laughs> no, uh, he, he is not playing. Okay, I'm gonna have to actually, I um... a tiny move that can actually heal you. Drain Punch has been a thing for years. Oh no, yeah, I know it's been a thing since at least Gen 4, but still. Although Drain Punch did not get good until Gen 5, I will fully acknowledge. Drain Punch and Heart Gold until Silver. How dare you? You're bulking up! Yeah, but you're leveling up your attack faster than, I'm, than I am. Mega Horn missed! Oh my god. There we go. Holy nice it. Yo, this is this is gonna be a lot closer than I would prefer. There we go. Okay, now I have to pick one and figure out what their attacks do again. <laughs> I mean, Scrafty, you've been as crafty as you can be. Scrafty is a tough one. If you know what you're doing with Scrafty, it, it can perform very well, for sure. So, bro, all right. Are there any like type advantages in this one? Like, um, certain types are powerful against other ones, yes, or one. weak against other ones. Oh, sure. I'm not sure if your team's gonna be able to... I, well, I mean, no, your Pokémon does. Th there is a Pokémon amongst yours that is a relative counter to Skullipede. And Slowbro is not it. Oh my god, critical hit, let's go! Wow. 
Rude. What were you gonna say, uh, Quagsire? Oh, let's go, my boy. Uh, like, well, luck, Griffin. Uh, what? You, it's a I have plus three sword stance. The skull peed is fast. Okay, now two critical Whoa. hits in a row. That's luck. No, I was talking about the crits. Yeah, no, that that's luck. That that is luck. Okay, that's well, amazing. skull Pete's time is done. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, you, I'm pretty sure the counter was Yamek, uh, Yanmega, oh, no. which is bug flying because it double resists bug and also is immune to earthquake. Also, Terrakian's a rock type. Okay. Oh. oh Why did I just instantly rock. lose some of my health? At the start of the battle, I used a move called Stealth Rock, which inflicts damage to your Pokemon whenever it switches out. How much damage it inflicts depends on the Pokemon's type. In the case of Yanmega, since um, Yanmega is quad weak to rock type attacks, it loses half its health. Yeah, Stealth Rock basically defines which types are good in singles. Yeah. I mean, single and is single handedly the reason why uh, bug type is referred to as U turn in the community. Because you will literally never use another bug type move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is such a hurdle to overcome being a bug type. And you don't even. Flying type at least gets immunity to ground for its rock weakness. <laughs> right. Okay, uh... Ooh! Super effective hidden power. Nice. But it's dead. <laughs> it, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Alright, so we have Trakion and Ditto left. Oh, now, oh. now Grant's playing, uh, no, you playing Stealth Rocks. So what do the little numbers next to each move mean? Is that how many times I can use it in this battle? Um, yes. Yes. They're called power points, and it determines how many times you can use them. Typically, the better the move, the oh, lowest power points it has. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. So close! Okay, yeah, that's game. That is, uh... Well, I mean, he still has Ditto. All Ditto can do is transform. Uh, no, here's the thing. Ditto copies stat boosts. Oh, I didn't know that. Wait, is that this specific Ditto's ability, or is that for all of them? That the imposter. Tra it, it's impossible. <laughs> it, 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 yes. it's, it's imposter, dude. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, it, imposter does transform and transform copies their current yeah. stat boosts. Yeah, and, so, he, uh, <laughs> and if you didn't have the imposter ability, it would still do that. Oh, Grant yeah. is going for it anyway. What do you mean going for it anyway? What else am I supposed to do? <laughs> no, no yeah, I, I appreciate the effort. Yeah, because all oh! have one button that can oh! All you need to do is switch out, and then when you come back in, he's just dead. Oh, I know, but I can at least try. Why do you what, healing? <laughs> what else am I gonna do with Rotom? It, you came in on max health, and he was dead, and he won the fight. <laughs> oh God. Let's go! <laughs> Griffin is the king of the hill. Uh, hopefully, well, unless you dethrone me. Gonna, hopefully, some one of us kicks his. Hopefully. Dang it, Bobby, it better be you. Dang it, Bobby. Is there any way to make the battle screen bigger? Because it's like so tiny compared to everything else. <laughs> and this is what I'm looking at. If oh I my god, this <laughs> man's magic bounce! This man stepped stealth rock and he didn't even need to use it! <laughs> Holy sh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, how did that work out? All right, fine. I'll keep oh, it. Ri My Zelvi knows Double Rock anyway. <laughs> what? Oh! <laughs> Why is he baton pass? <laughs> Why is he baton pass? <laughs> you. That's what you get. Critical hit Thunderbolt. <laughs> Waste of my time with your pointless baton pass. I have meetings! Oh, oh critical hit! Two criticals oh, in a row! Let's go! Oh, Azelf, you are- you, we're, we're doing things tonight. Oh, man. Boom! Azelf is fast. It's fast. Yo, Azelf, you are sweeping my guy! Just keep going! <laughs>
Yeah, you you was not a <laughs> Okay. Switching out of Celebi was probably not your best choice. Okay, well okay. I... We're picking out House Elf and instead you wasted half your time. Oh my god, dude. Alright, well he did take out As Elf, so credit where credit is due, I guess. Uh um... yeah, if you didn't take the Todd pass, Celebi would have just killed him. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, um... I was trying to win with Zatu, but if I did not see all that sh coming. God, now I have to deal with the That stuff rocks. They're not, like, there aren't that many Pokemon on my team where it's a problem, but there are enough of them to where I still find it annoying. Alright, what's this man planning? Why? Why do you insist on doing this? Oh my god, okay, fine, Israel. Tom Pass lets you lead to uh, the Switch, which is nice. Right. Oh, let's go, Hurricane Mist. Oh, you, that's, you... Okay, yeah, that is very, very fortunate for you. I, I got very lucky tonight. <laughs> You're seriously Hank Hill. It's like, no. Bobby, why can't I beat up your dad? But now you die. All right, DK. Listen, the power of Seth Rogen enables me to do anything. And I'm yeah. a DK fan over here. Yeah, you definitely should have gotten uh, the ditto sooner. Ah, oh, man, okay. There's one clear choice. Not right, the one the I thing had is, I'm pretty sure you already won, Griffin. Uh, yeah, you think? <laughs> No, no, I, I mean literally, as in, I'm pretty sure Ditto is Choice Scarf locked and you have a Pokemon with Fly. Oh. But my Pokemon, um, Sigilyph doesn't... Well, whatever. I know Sigilyph is, is a Flying Pokemon. Yeah, one Sigilyph move? is Flying Pokemon, doesn't have Flying-type moves, so anyway, Stone Edge 1, doesn't it's matter, a irrelevant. It's new Earthquake and it's locked into a ground move. That's, That's what I fair. Mean. I'm the king of the hill. I, I'm the ultimate king.